eight or nine, I begged my parents to take up the violin because I had had the opportunity to play piano with some string players and chamber music, and I was just very fascinated by the violin. Um, and so they finally caved into that particular wish, and I pursued both violin and piano for maybe five years, and then. I don't know what happened, but the violin just started to not be my thing, and when I joined school orchestra, I really began to love the sound of the viola, especially um, this sort of lower register that the instrument has. It's really gorgeous. And so I picked up the viola when I was perhaps 13, I think, and it's sort of been what I do ever since then. I think if you're willing to be very flexible and very creative, um, anything is possible, but I would say that what I do takes many hours, many, many hours of work. And especially when I first began um, and decided that not only did I want to play the viola, but I wanted to make sure that I did everything that the sighted kids did, meaning I wanted to sit in an orchestra and play, I wanted to sit in chamber music and play, and a lot of that repertoire is very long, around an hour. Um, I had to decide that I was going to put in the hours to memorize all this music and sometimes that would be seven or eight hours a day when I first started. So you can do it, but I think you have to be very committed and very dedicated and really feel that there's no other option before you, you know, go down a road that is um, going to be quite so involved. <laughs>